guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to all of my subscribers and hi to all the new people who just decided to go in check in and say oh cool a lot of pets well let me just go ahead and check in um today we're gonna go ahead and do an all my pets video we're gonna look at everybody and introduce you guys that way whenever i have people in the video you're not confused like who is this who's that i've never seen them before what is their name that way you guys can go ahead and follow along when i do videos know everybody's name and get to know the family a little bit so let's get started so this is my cat misty I know you can't even see her. <laughs> this is my cat, Misty, and she was the first pet that I actually have ever owned. Um, I got her when she was about six weeks old, and I rescued her from the shelter. She was covered in fleas. She was pretty small. The shelter went ahead and gave her all her flea baths and all of her shots. Um, she's my cuddle bug. Sometimes, randomly, she wants to just come on the couch and cuddle with everybody. She definitely loves to cuddle with my mom. She'll sometimes decide to go ahead and cuddle with me when she feels like it. She's not always my cuddle bug. But this happens to be my youngest cat. She doesn't like to be held, so I'm not going to be able to hold her throughout the whole time. But this is my youngest cat, Cecilia. Say hi, Cece. Um, we just call her Cece or Dibbles because she's always in her own space and she is my little Dibbles. She is also one of the cuddle bugs. She does like to kind of curl up with me. Generally in the middle of the night, she does go ahead and curl up and sleep with me. So she is one of my cuddle bugs and she is deciding to stay. Thank you so much, Cecilia. I did give her a little bit of catnip, so I apologize if she seems out of it, but this is Kira. She's about five years old at the moment. All of my cats are only one year apart. So she is five years old. Next up, we have Damien, my very first ever well, technically, my first ever leopard gecko, I had gotten two of them at the same time. These guys were rescued from uh, somebody who happened to come into the store because I actually work at a pet store still currently. I still work at the pet store. We're not going to say its name. Oh, he's running from me. Somebody came in, said they couldn't take care of them anymore. So this was one of them. This is Damien. Let's go ahead and let you guys see him. Um, I have no idea how old he is, but I got him when he was pretty small. He still had the bands on him. He's just running from me. Come back. He still had the bands on him, but now you can see he's fully grown and he's got his nice spots going on. So um, he was the one of the first geckos or the first gecko, I guess, since he came together with the other one. He is my first pair of leopard geckos. Um, I'm not getting another pair, but he was just the pair of leopard geckos that I happened to get. Next up, we have Blueberry Muffin, otherwise known as Blue. He was the one that came in the pair with uh, Damien, and this is him. He's not as comfortable as being held as Damien. Um, even though I got them at the same time, he's always been less comfortable with being held. But this is him. I love his um, spots. I love his patterns. I have no idea what morph he is, but I love his patterns, and he is just so precious to me. Um, he is definitely my baby, and I love him very, very, very much. I love all of them very much, but he just has a special spot in my heart. He's got a very interesting personality. Again, he was saved with Damien as well. Bear with me because she is a jumper and she just jumped right on here. So this is Chloe. Oh, no. Oh, oh she's, she just jumped on my camera. So <laughs> this is Chloe. Um, she was my first ever crested gecko that I got. Let me just go ahead and help you guys out here. Um, I believe she is a bicolor is her morph's color, is her morph. Um, Oh, she's jumping again. Oh my goodness. So this is Chloe. I love her very much. I cannot keep her out very long. Um, she was rescued from my store because she was... Oh my goodness. She was rescued from my store because she was way too big for the cage and no one was adopting her. So I decided to go ahead and adopt her. That way she wasn't stuck in that cage for too long. For my second crested gecko, she's fired up. So I'm not going to keep her out very long. But this is Jade and she is my second ever one same kind of issue she was way too big for her cage and her morph is gorgeous i don't know why nobody took her she is a harlequin morph i think she's also a dalmatian because she does have some dalmatian spots on her if you guys can see i don't know if you guys can see focus camera i'm not sure if you guys can see but she is some type of harlequin morph and she's fired up and not happy so i'm gonna go ahead and put her back now i know you guys remember him from my new pet update so here he is with an actual name this is Ronald Weasley, and he, yes, he did get bigger since the last video, just a little bit. He went through actually two sheds since the last video, or just one very, very long shed. So this is Ronald Weasley, and Kira is looking very hard at him because she's still in the cat tree, so we're just going to keep him protected. Um, no, I already know better than to actually keep them on your shoulders. I know, buddy. 
So I know better than to actually keep him on his shoulders. The only time he's really on my shoulder is when I have uh, one hand on him. That way he doesn't go too far. So this happens to be my only female leopard gecko, and this is Daenerys. Um, so this is my only female. Yes, I absolutely did name her after Game of Thrones. I was on a binge at the time. Um, but this is Daenerys, my mother of dragons, and she definitely lives up to her name with her very feisty attitude. I also rescued her from the pet store that I work at. Um, she was in a cage in a 10-gallon tank with two other geckos. I'm not sure if they were males or females. Um, and they had actually went ahead and attacked her sadly so she happens to be my only female leopard gecko and again she was also one of the rescues so next up is my guinea pig dash dashel robert parr from the incredibles guys um i'm not gonna be able to hold him up to the camera that's a lie i can hold him up to the camera Come on, buddy guy. so this is dashel robert parr he was um i had got my guinea pigs together again rescues from the pet store that i work at everybody please stop donating your pets to a pet store please this is not what you're supposed to do please keep your pets if you take the time to go ahead and take them in and take the responsibility of taking them in please go ahead and keep them unless you really 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 cannot hold on to them but this happens to be dash um one of my beautiful guinea pigs say hi dash last but not least we have my last guinea pig augustus gloop otherwise known as gus this is him and again he was gotten in a pair with dashel robert parr so this is gus this is Gus Gus. Um, he is my biggest guinea pig, and he is definitely my fattest little boy. Um, again, same rescue. Everybody's almost a rescue, basically, and I think everybody is a rescue. And I love him very much, and he was the last one that I had to go ahead and show you guys. Okay, that is everybody. If you guys lost the total count, I have 11 pets in total. Um, everybody is loved, taken care of. They're all actually very, very spoiled, and they're big, extra cages they're super decorated cages my guinea pigs live in fleece with beds and everything else so everybody's pretty spoiled and happy thank you guys so much for watching my videos and thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel until next time have a great day bye